I need a lamp to put next to my beautiful hanging chair. I found something online that I did like, but it was 100 euros and I'm not ready to spend that money on a lamp. So today we're gonna try and make a similar one for much cheaper. This is the lamp that I found. Isn't she lovely? This is actually the site where I got my hanging chair. They have a lot of nice things. It's kind of nice because they added the exact measurements of the lamp so I can get a rough idea on how to cut the wood. Here I got a piece of pine um, that it's one meter for 50 centimeters. You will need three round sticks of wood. I used a diameter of three centimeters. Then you will need a lampshade. This was actually the hardest thing to find for a good price. I ended up finding one for two euros at a thrift shop that was the perfect size. And if you want to make the lampshade like I did for a 22 centimeter lampshade, I used six sticks that were 2.5 meters long. And finally, you will need the cord for the lamp. As for tools, you will need a jigsaw, a sander, a drill and a cutting cup of three centimeters to allow you to make the cuts and I also used a meter saw you could do without if you didn't have one but I just got this baby and I really wanted to get some use out of it the first thing you need to decide is how tall you want your lamp to be I started thinking that I would want it 165 centimeters in height and so this is what I cut it to I thought that I'd be putting the round uh, sticks outside of the lampshade but I just realized that to do that I would need to have a much bigger wood and uh, this piece of wood uh, is not enough and I really do not want to go back to the DIY shop so instead what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put them on the inside of the lampshade like this and hopefully it's gonna look just as good I decided that I wanted to use five circles for the lamp one for the bottom two for the top and uh, two shelves. So I started by um, marking the wood using the lampshade and then I started making the circles with the jigsaw. This wasn't an easy task, so I would suggest you going as slow as possible and taking your time. Here are the five circles far from perfect I saw that there are ways to cut perfect circles with a jigsaw but it required making a tool that seemed very complicated so um, I'm gonna try and make them a little bit better through sanding and hopefully you're not gonna notice too much that they're not perfect um, let's do it I then proceeded to sand the circles with a 120 to 180 grit of sandpaper And then I decided the placement for the sticks of the lamp and I started um, drilling the circles where they would go through. Again, take this time with this step. You will want the circles to be as aligned as possible with each other. Then once everything is ready, I started assembling the lampshade and I wanted to use a mallet because the shelves were so hard to put through. But as you can see, the first shelf broke and I was so upset at myself. So then understood I had to be super gentle and super patient to be able to pull those shelves through. During the process I realized that the lampshade was a little bit too, too tall for my liking so I cut about 20 centimeters off. Once again, I've been fooled. I thought this would be an easy project. It looked so simple and yet it was so complicated. So I'm gonna start working on the lampshade. I'm gonna be using this as a structure. I'm gonna remove the fabric and uh, attach this to it. And this should be easy, right? This must be easy. It cannot be taking me another five hours to do this. Oh. So I started by cutting the half round sticks to about 24 centimeters. This is the height of the lampshade that I wanted. I'm using a wooden block to keep the sticks from moving and trying and get them at the same length. I then sanded all the ends. Remove the fabric from the lampshade to reveal the structure. I 
I then use the bottom bit of the lampshade structure to take the me measurements to make the um, hole for the lamp holder. And I then started the super fun job of adding the sticks to the structure. As you can see, I used hot glue. I couldn't think of anything else to use for this job. And I started by placing about um, three or four sticks at the bottom of the structure and then uh, attaching them to the top of the structure. And I then repeated the same steps for the whole diameter of the lampshade. Right, the woodworking part is done. Now I just need to varnish it and assemble it. And uh, I just got some clear coating and I'm gonna try and get the right coloration that I want with some by adding some uh, drops of this colorant because all of the um, coats that I find, they are either too dark or too orangey and I really dislike them. So hopefully this is gonna give me the right color. Okay, I think I've got the right color. You probably won't be able to see anything at all, but this is the clear coat, how it would look with no color at all. And this is the color that I went for, and it's just a tinge darker than the clear coat. And I think it's just gonna look perfect. lamp is drying so I need to wait a little while before we can assemble it and I can show you the final result I'm super super excited to see it um, but as you can see the mic is out so you know what that means it means it's time to talk about the sponsor of today Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey whether you're into videography, photography, creative writing, baking, or even dancing, there will be something for you on Skillshare. Skillshare is my go-to platform for learning and creativity, which you've if you've been following me for a while, you know that those are two very important things in my life. One thing that I like about Skillshare is that you can take a singular class, but if you like that teacher, you can follow that teacher and take all of their classes. So for example, if you want to get into woodworking, the teacher Brittany Joyner has several classes on that topic. She has a class on setting up your wood shop, on beginner woodworking, building a simple table, and also lots of um, weekend projects that you can take. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, I assure you that there's gonna be a class for you that's gonna inspire you to get creative, whether that's more an intellectual skill that you wanna develop or more of a practical skill. The platform is ad free, so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. And new premium classes are launched every week, so there's always something new and exciting to learn. And now the entire catalog is available with subtitles in Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. If you would like to give Skillshare a try, then the first thousand people to use the link in the description bar will get one month free trial of Skillshare. We are ready to assemble it! love this but let's go and see how it looks in the living room Look at that. I am so happy at how this lamp turned out. It's much better than I envisioned it. It's a little bit different than the inspiration lamp that I had seen, but actually I much prefer this kind of lamp. I prefer the wooden um, 
slits instead of the fabric and I'm not mad about the fact that I only have one shelf I think it looks less cluttered and at the end of the day it wasn't that much cheaper than the original one but that's because I bought the wood in a very expensive shop I'm sure that you'd be able to maybe make it for 20 euros or so 15 pounds I think mine costed around 35 euros I'm super happy with this and I enjoy having unique things around the house that I make with my own hands even if they're not perfect uh, it just makes everything a lot more special and warm and thank you so much for watching this video thank you to Skillshare for making it possible for me to continue making those videos uh, if you would like to check them out their link will be in the description bar and I shall see you very soon bye and now the entire catalog and now the entire and now the entire catalog is available in and now the entire cat and now the entire cat... <laughs>